Now, this is very impressive. As you can hear, the rest of the mix is not affected by the EQ moves I just made. It only focuses on the vocal stand. Okay, I'm gonna try this on drums. Check this out. It's just crazy. Today's the release of Ozone 11 by Native Instruments slash Isotope. This new version is a pretty cool one. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this new upgrade, all the features that are included within Ozone 11 and how you can work with them while mastering music. Note that this video is not a sponsored video, but I do have an affiliate link down below if you wanna check it out. So let's jump right in and look at how you can master music using Ozone 11. Okay, I'm gonna use my latest single to be released soon uh, for this uh, video. So that is a non-mastered version. And let's start with the first one, which is a new module on Ozone 11. This one is called Clarity. So Clarity is a module that is made to open up the mix without adding harshness, which can be very useful when mastering music, especially if you're dealing with a dull type of mix, okay? So how that works is very simple. It's not a complicated module to use. So let's try it out. I'm only gonna use the default uh, parameters and just add the amount of clarity that I want for this master. Keep on searching for the answer, I need you with me. Let's overdo it so we get an idea. Okay, let me gain match here. Keep on That's cool. I love how clarity sounds like. The way it adapts to uh, the source I'm mastering is very cool. It does it in, like in a very cool automatic way, very smooth and transparent, and it definitely doesn't add any harshness to the sound, which is great. And you don't need to add a lot uh, for it to shine, you know? So it does the job pretty well, a bit like if I was removing a small blanket of the mix, which is great. Now, next on the list, and this one is powerful because it uses AI and it's called Stem Focus. So if you look on the top here, we have uh, all sorts of different stems available to work on individually, which is quite nice. So you can add processing on the full mix like it is by default, but also on the vocals. If you need to tweak a few things on the vocals as far as any processing goes. Now I'm gonna try this out using an equalizer and you'll see how that goes. You can do this also on drums and on bass, which is quite powerful. Again, it uses AI to do so. And that brings Ozone 11 to the next level because this kind of processing is not quite possible usually. So let's try this out on this mix and I'm gonna focus on the vocal and just add a bit more high mids. That's pretty cool. Now, this is very impressive. As you can hear, the rest of the mix is not affected by the EQ moves I just made. It only focuses on the vocal stand. Okay, I'm gonna try this on drums. Check this out. It's just crazy. Okay, I'm gonna use a preset for this one. So on top, we have access to a bunch of presets and there's a folder down that is called Stem Focus. Um, let me uh, load the snare. Okay, no snare left behind, okay? So what I have is an EQ impact and an exciter. Um, let me try this out. I'm just gonna boost a bit of the... Uh, the high frequencies on that snare because it will focus on the snare, of course, like it says on the preset. So let's have a listen. I'm gonna first bypass it and add it in. Just 
that is quite impressive. Now on this mix, I didn't feel like the snare was a problem, but I just wanted to show you how far you can go with Ozone 11. That is actually can be a game changer and a lifesaver also when mastering music, especially when you don't have access to the mix session to go back and dive in, you know, so very impressive, very cool to work with. And that can be applied with any modules found in Ozone 11, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now, the next on the list is the transient and sustain mode on most of the modules available on Ozone 11. And that can actually be a very cool creative tool. I'm gonna try it on an exciter uh, to add a bit more harmonics and saturation to the mix I'm mastering right now. So if we look here on top, we have the left and right stereo mode. Uh, we can also go mid-side for mid-side processing, but now we have also transient and sustain, so we can apply processing to the transient of a sound and also to the sustain only of a sound. Let's try it out on the mix, um, and I'm gonna use the sustain for this one, working on the bass frequencies, and after we'll check the, uh, the midsection. Okay, let's try it on the transients instead. So I'm gonna bring back down the sustain level and I'm gonna add more harmonics and the light saturation to the transients of the low frequencies. See how that goes. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna keep it this way, and now I'm gonna go back into uh, the sustain mode, and I'm gonna add a bit of excitement, harmonics, and light saturation on the mid-range. That is interesting, you know, so there's something to work with here. So I kind of like this feature. Again, it's something to play around with, something to get used to, something that can be very creative also, which is very nice. So that is the transient and sustain mode on most of the channels. Now, one feature that is powerful with Ozone, and that also comes in previous versions, is the assistant to give you a good starting point. And something cool with the assistant, Apart from being a good starting point, it's also a good learning tool to see how AI and what's under the hood of Ozone analyzes your music, you know, and giving you these uh, propositions. And sometimes they don't fit my taste and I just go and make some tweaks uh, to get the, uh, the master to sound as I like it to sound. Using the assistant will also give you access to rebalance your vocals straight from Ozone 11 while mastering and that is actually very powerful so i'm going to go straight into the master rebalance module if you don't see it you can just add it up it's going to be listed in the module list and you're good to go and you see you can focus on vocals bass drums and bring the level up or down of all these stems which is very cool to work with. So let's say if I go to my uh, verse here, and I kind of find that the vocals are a bit low in the mix, I can increase the volume using the master rebalance. I'm gonna overdo it. That is pretty cool. So let me rebalance that to my taste. Nice, let's go to the chorus. Okay. 
so now my vocals are a bit more upfront, which works better for this mix. And I was able to do this within Ozone 11 while mastering. So this is actually very nice. So I can do the same with the bass, with the drums, and that makes, again, Ozone 11 a very cool, versatile tool when mastering music. And again, it does use AI to isolate all those different stems so you can rebalance while mastering. And there's also a redesigned maximizer module which has upward compression right into it. And that will help boosting all the quiet section of the mix within the maximizer itself, which will work in a different way than a regular compressor. So instead of bringing down the louder parts, it's going to bring up the quieter parts. Okay, so that will help to reduce the amount of dynamic range, which keeps the limiting process a bit more transparent, if needed, of course. Keep on Now the next on the list is this guy named Delta. And this one, like it says right here, uh, will monitor the difference between the input and the processed output. Basically, you will hear exactly how each module is processing your audio. Okay, so let's try it out. I'm gonna check the equalizer and activate Delta. Let's go with clarity. Okay. So this is the difference between the original input sound compared to what's coming out of Clarity. So it gives me a very good idea on what Clarity is adding to the mix I'm mastering. So that can be useful. So that is Delta. So if it's available, you will see it on the top left of every module. So this is Ozone 11 by Isotope. The link is down below. Let me know what you think. As far as I'm concerned, I think it's a very good upgrade, but I want to know what you think on your end. Do you like mastering music? What do you work with when mastering music? All your comments down below. And also if you have any other questions or other comments, feel free to let me know. Share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Talk to you soon, my friend. Take care. Bye-bye.